Okay, folks, just a little story I'd like to tell you today. But first of all, just going to read a verse of God's precious word. Romans chapter 10 and verse number 14. Listen to these words. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they hear without a preacher? People need to hear the gospel. The Bible says we must be saved. And in order for people to be saved, they need to hear and understand and to believe the gospel. A few weeks ago, I was in a particular church and I was speaking to a man who was from Canada. And he told me and an interesting story. This man was sitting on his own. There was nobody beside him. And I thought I'll go over and speak to this individual and have a conversation with him. He must have been well into his 70s. And as we got talking, I asked him if he had been a Christian for a long time. And he said he became a Christian whenever he was just a young man. And whenever he was a Christian, whenever he became a Christian, he was working in an off license, or as he called it, a liquor store. And he said, you know, at that particular time, a lot of people in the church came to me and said, you know, if you're a Christian, you shouldn't be working here. And, you know, maybe they were right. But he was a wise man in a sense. And he said, well, you know, I needed the money. I needed to pay my bills. I didn't have another job to go to. And he says, I told those people at that time, well, whenever God found me and whenever the Lord saved me, I was working in the liquor store and I will move as soon as God opens another door for employment. And so we just prayed that God would close that door and open another door. But in the interim period, he was trying his best to begin the Christian life and trying his best to walk with God. And one night he says, working there behind the till, the cash register in the liquor store, a woman came in. He said he knew her from the locality. He didn't have much time for her. He didn't really like her. And he was very surprised to see her in that establishment because she never really came in and she wasn't a drinker as far as he knew. But she went into the back of the liquor store and all the while as he watched her going from shelf to shelf, this little voice in his head saying, speak to her. And him resting against that, I don't want to speak to her, speak to her. And this went on and she was making her way up to the till and this voice, as it were, in his head, speak to her, don't want to speak to her speak to her and at last whenever she came up with her I think it was a 10 glass bottle of whiskey he just asked her how are you and this woman opened her heart to him and began to pour out her complaint and her burdens and her cares and her concerns and she was a Roman Catholic and he said that she had fallen out at that time this is maybe going back to the 1970s she had fallen out with her local priest over something very small and very superficial and the priest demanded a public apology. In fact, what he had asked her to do was to get down on her knees in front of the congregation and beg him for forgiveness. And she wouldn't do that. But all the while she was concerned if she didn't go back to church, where would that leave her as far as heaven was concerned? And she just opened her heart to this man, this young Christian working in this liquor store. And he didn't have all the answers. He didn't know much of the word of God. He had only started out in the Christian life himself, but he knew enough to share the gospel with her. And he told that dear lady, he says, you know, you don't need that priest. And he talked about the priest that she did need, the Lord Jesus Christ, who on the cross had paid the price for her sins. And you could come to him directly and pour out your heart before him. He says, come on to me, all you that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And what he said to her was, put the drink back on the shelf, go home, lock yourself in your bedroom, get down on your knees and call upon the Lord and tell the Lord Jesus Christ everything that you've told me and trust him. And he left it with her and off she went. She did put the drink back and she went home. And he hadn't seen her, didn't see her for a long, long time after that. But he said a good while later he was involved in some young people's fellowships in the town that he lived in. And one night they were meeting in a church hall and he was put out in the side room because there were so many people in. And he says this woman was introduced to tell her life story. 
and I couldn't see her face, but whenever she got up behind the lectern and she began to talk, he said she told a familiar story and I recognized the voice. And it was the lady that he had spoken to in the liquor store a good while before that. And she said, you know, I was at the end of my tether. I had planned to end my life, to commit suicide. But to get some Dutch courage to do that, I went to the liquor store, the off license to buy some alcohol, to drink myself into a drunken stupor, to make it easier for me to take my life. But the man in the liquor store, surprise, surprise, was a Christian. And he told me about the Lord Jesus Christ, told me to go home and shut the door and don't take any of that drink and shut the door and get on my knees and call upon the Lord and trust him. And that's what I did. And she said, since that moment, there's been a peace in my heart that the world could never give. And she had become a Christian. And it was just the thought that he said, this voice speaking into my head, talk to her. He said, I wonder what would have happened if I hadn't spoken to her. He says, I'm sure the Lord would have reached her somehow. But God gave me the privilege of speaking to that woman. And shortly after that, he left his job there, of course. Uh, God opened another door and he got a better job and he moved on. But it was just a lovely story and it encouraged my heart. Dear friends, people need the Lord and people need to hear. And wherever you are, it mightn't even be where you want to be. But tell people about the Saviour. Tell people about this wonderful Lord Jesus Christ that came from heaven and went to a cross and paid the price for our sins and is able to lift the burden off our hearts and take away the guilt and the fear and the despair and the hopelessness and give us peace in our hearts, forgiveness of sins, save our souls and one day bring us to heaven. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how shall they hear unless somebody tells them? How shall they hear without a preacher? Thanks for listening, folks. May God bless you.